So I'm going to show you how to do a virtual wind tunnel or a flow simulation on your vehicle. So first thing you're going to need to do is bring up an assembly for your car with the wheels and the CO2 cartridge installed. In addition, I'm going to ask you that you color the vehicle. You know, you can select and then click on appearances and then body and pick whatever color. So pick a color that is not going to be red, orange, blue, something that uh, you'll see in a second, uh, something that is going to contrast with the colors of the flow simulation display. So first of all, if you don't have flow simulation under your tabs up here, you're going to need to uh, right click on it somewhere and then go to SolidWorks add-ins. Make sure that that is checked. And in SolidWorks add-ins, you'll have something here called flow simulation. You can, uh, if it's not as an actual tab, you might have to double click on it so that it loads it and after a minute or so it'll show up as this. So once you have that set up and you have your car, your full assembly on your screen, you can start with the wizard. So the wizard, we're going to go ahead and call it flow test one in my case, and we'll go on to next. There's a bunch of different units that we can change on here. Uh, we are in metric, but I'm going to change the velocity, for example, to miles per hour. And I can go to kilometers. I can go, uh, go to whatever, but I'm going to um, go ahead and pick mile per hour. Under pressure, I uh, could uh, change it. I um, don't know if I'm going to need it, but I'm going to say it's um, pounds, per, uh, pounds per square inch right here. Under instead of kilograms, we're going to go with pounds, and under length, we're going to go to inch. And we there's all kinds of other things we can change on here, but we're not going to do that. We're going to try and keep it simple. So go to next, and you're gonna we're going to do an external analysis that's of the outside of the part, and we're not going to cover any of the cavities or holes inside the part. We can do that uh, for something else later if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that here. Everything else here stays blank. Go to next, and because this car is going to be flowing through air, we're going to add air as our fluid. You could add water, you could add whatever if this is something that was flowing through water, but we're just going to add air, and we don't need to touch anything else. Uh, this stays same and one of the things we now have to specify is what is the direction of our air so look at the way the car is pointing and right now the positive x direction is going from the front of the car to the back of the car so that is correct and we're going to then assign um, 100 miles per hour if your vehicle is pointing in a different direction then you might want to take a note of that, right? So right now the back of the arrow is the front of the car. The tip of the arrow is the back of the car. It could be your Z, it could be your Y, depending on how you made it. You might have to put a negative number on here if the X arrow, for example, was pointing in the opposite direction. So we click Finish. And now as we zoom out, we'll see we have this big box, and that's our computational domain. We don't need such a big box and as you will actually notice that I only have two of the wheels on my assembly so I'm going to click once on that and you'll get arrows and these arrows I'm going to use to shrink that box that computational domain so that I'm only doing half of the car and so that it is only just just what I need and nothing else because there is a large amount of competition that is required. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this and one more axis. We're going to shrink that and that looks pretty good. So we're going to go with that. So now we're going to go up to the top menu and click run. Nothing will happen when you run it other than you'll get a window towards uh, the bottom that is going to be flashing and if you open it, it tells you that it is calculating. A few years ago when we first started running this, it would take 10 minutes for the computers to run it. And if we had done this 10 years ago, 
it would have probably run an hour because of the computational power required for the simulation. So in your laptop, uh, depending on what you have going on, and I strongly suggest that you close down all windows, browsers, etc., because this is going to take quite a bit of computational power. For those of you that care, you can see that it's actually is using all eight cores of my Intel processor in here, and it is running quite a bit of um, calculation. So make sure that you have everything closed. And it'll take a minute or so. It looks like right now it's about to be finished, and it's finished. So we minimize it. And now there's nothing on here, but that's because I haven't put in anything on my studies. So now I'm going to click Open on Results. And there's one result loaded, but I'm going to right-click on Floor Trajectories and click Insert. I'm going to go to insert and now what I need to do is select all of the faces that this is going to be applied to. So I'm going to zoom in I'm going to start clicking on faces. Now you, you can just select everything all at once but what will happen is then the program will literally try and do every surface imaginable and it will take an hour for your competitions to take place and you don't want to do that. So right now I'm just selecting all of the things that I believe air is going to come in contact with and uh, because remember all of these are different fillets and different cuts it breaks it up into a bunch of different surfaces so I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these including the uh, tire surfaces and um, we're good there. I'm also going to select the CO2 cartridge. And I don't necessarily have to check every single one of these surfaces, but I'm just uh, being thorough. Okay, and looks like for some reason it selected the rest of. Oh, and I don't want to. Okay, so that's good. And I've got a couple more. And this is one skin where if your vehicle is really complex and has lots of surfaces, it might take you a little while. I'm not doing the backside, like I said, because I'm only selecting my computational domain only has half of the car. Okay, I'm now going to change the number of instances to 40. I'll stick with arrows for now and uh, we're going to change to velocity. Okay, so now I can click OK. It's going to do a little bit more calculation and it'll give us a flow pattern that we can actually take a look at. So as you can see here, I've got arrows. It shows you, if you look at the legend up here, what kind of speed are we looking at? It's coming in at about 100 miles an hour, orange, and it starts to slow down. In some cases, if you look at the blue, actually, let's take a look at this in a little bit different setup. So if I right-click on Floor Trajectories, I can edit definition and change this to spheres. And I'm going to click OK again. And another thing that's kind of cool is if I right-click on this and I hit Play, it gives me a real-time flow of uh, simulation of the air, which is uh, super cool. You have the turbulence in the background where you can see where some of the slow air blue it's down to you know almost no uh, no speed at all and along the top it slows down just a little bit which is kind of what we want to see and along the sides it does slow quite a bit more uh, obviously if i were to make this into a super brick on aerodynamic kind of a thing you'll get much more uh, disruption in the air and it will go much slower. So you can go uh, back to flow trajectories, you can click stop and do a screenshot of this. You can also try and mess with the definitions of this and instead of spheres maybe I can go over to static trajectories and select pipes which is also pretty cool and it gives you a different way of looking at your um, airflow. All right, so play around with it, try different screenshots, but you are going to have to turn in one of these and explain to me what you see on the airflow.
Okay, good luck.